Radio 4, another chance to hear the Writers Guild Best Radio Play of 2015, A Night Visitor by Stephanie Jacob. Hilary and Tom have been forced by debt to downsize to an isolated Norfolk cottage. One night, they're disturbed by a particularly violent storm. One thousand. Two thousand. Two miles away. Sounds like it's going to take the roof off. Tom. Are you awake? Mm. I used to love being tucked up in bed with the rain on the roof. It used to make me feel safe, but this place... One thousand. It's coming. Mm. What was that? A branch. What branch? That beech tree. Is it? Oh, I hate storms. I've always hated storms. Well, what am I supposed to do about it? You? Nothing. Make a hot water bottle or something. God almighty, see? What was that? Oh, a tree coming down, that's all we need. Bolt's gone. Where are you going? To look. Oh, fuse, maybe. Oh, damn. Where's the torch? In the boot. Of the car? Yup. Great place to leave a torch. Oh, I thought so. Oh, who's going to go out together? In this? I see. Can't you wait till it's daylight? The landing light's out, too. Oh! What? There's a slug convention on the stairs. There are candles somewhere. I unpacked them. Oh, for heaven's sake. What are you doing? There are candles somewhere. I unpacked them. Where did you put them? What was that? In the light. Then, did you see? Where? Out, out there. Tom, don't mess about. No, I saw some. Who? A pale, running. Who? Something. What do you mean? I don't know. <gasps> Who is it? How did all that? I can't find the candles. I can't find them. Shh. How could you leave the torch in the it's probably the neighbour, Mrs. Thing. She's in Fuengirola. Don't open it. Get them to answer first. Uh, right. Who is it? Uh, sorry, the electricity's gone. Don't we tell them that. Who's there? <gasps> what did you see? I don't know. You must know. He was moving so quickly. He? <gasps> is it a ghost? The wind. But it answers you. Oh, God. Don't open the door. Why isn't it light? We don't open the door. That scream. I know. What if they need us? What if they murder us? What if they're wounded? We should see. No, Hillary. Ring the police. Good idea. Then if they're wounded, wounded. The line's dead. Damn. Mobile. No signal. Till you get to the top of the lane. Damn. 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 Thirty years in Peckham, we never had a night like this. I can't bear it. I'm going out. No! What if they're hurt? Why must you always be so responsible? All, all right, take the poker. Ah. Who's there? Don't do anything funny. I've got a shotgun. Are you hurt? Do you need help? Say who you are. <gasps> Did you see? Yes. In the lightning, then. It's, it's huge. huge. It's back. Enormous. Again! I think he's going to charge! Tom. Tom! Did I drop off? It's still there. Where is it? Come and see! Just standing in the pond. Looking at us. What's it done to the garden? I know. I don't think it's a normal pig. How do you mean? The markings. Dark like that, mottled. A wild boar? Poor. Those hunts they do in France, if they're cornered and they turn on you, they can kill a dog. Can they? Do they have wild boar in Norfolk? I'm going to drive it out. But it's huge. We have got to get out. There's no electricity, no phone. It's freezing. I don't know, maybe Martin can help us. Who? Mrs Thing's son, the plumber. He's big, strong, maybe he so can... We don't need help. Well, one of us has to get out of this hellhole and earn something. I have to be at school in an hour's time. What do you suggest? Take the poker. Uh, 
it's seen you. Back! Go on! It's not sure. Back! That's it. Ah! Run at it! Ah! Stand your ground, that's it. Ah! Ah! Isn't it quick? It's got teeth! Well, of course it's got teeth, it's fierce. It took a piece out of me. Are you all right? What are we going to do? No idea. You are completely, utterly... Say it. Just say it, Hilary. You promised me you would try. That's all. If you just try, it'd be okay. Try and make this place habitable. All you've done is wallow in terminal gloom ever since we got here. Not a single job done. You haven't even started one. Have you even left your bed? And now we're trapped in this fungal dump by a giant pig with giant bloody teeth. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be funny. Why are you putting my cricket pads on? And your gloves, they're nice and thick. Where is it? There, by the gate. You sure it knows how to play? I need a shield too. You're really doing this? I refuse to be trapped by a pig. A dustbin lid? What you need is a strategy. If we made a pincer movement, it could be driven... Maybe I have got a strategy. Have you? What? The Assyrian came down like a wolf on a bow! And his cohorts were gleaming in purple and gold. That's the one! <laughs> oh, God, look at you. Solid as a tank. A great hairy tank with slobber sucking in and out your teeth. They're like slicers. The Assyrian came down like the wolf on the fold, and his cords were gleaming in purple and gold. It's you or me, Porker. You think you can come in the night and scream till we unpeel from ourselves? Ah, not so, King of the Castle now! Lord Byron's on my side! Ah! My God, Ow. you're going Snout to do face. it. He's edging up to the gate. Like an eel, he's having none of it. Uh oh, he's got a charge. Get back in the house! <laughs> no, up onto the car. Mind that headlight. No, don't bounce on the bonnet. Like stars on the sea. Don't poke at him. He's angry now. He's going to headlight. He's off round the back. Get him in the shed. Don't corner him. You corner him, he can kill a dog. Right. The pincer movement, quick, Tom! Where, where is he? Behind you! Quick, quick, on the door! He's in! He's in! You were amazing! He bit me! Does it hurt? Unbelievable! Lean on me! Oh! You were like a warrior woman. I was. Leaping about like a young gazelle. You were brilliant. Was I? Ooh. Is it bad? There are teeth marks. Oh, there. Oh, I wish I could see. You better disinfect it. Wonder how many other teachers will come in with a bite on their bum. You'd be surprised. You'll have to. Sorry, can you drop your pants? Yep. Right. Ready? Mm. Oh, the widows of. Asher were loud in their wail. Oh. What are you doing? Can you just get on with it, please? I'm putting the plaster on. Well, you're taking forever. There. Done. What? Nothing. Look, it was great. You came out at the end. Yep. The pincer movement clinched it. I had it in hand, actually. Without the pincer movement, you'd still be running around out there like Lord of the Flies. You think it'll scar? Well, it might, but given where it is... What? I just mean not many people are going to see it, are they? Not there. Who knows? Well, quite. You might go to another conference. I might, yeah. Right now, I might do anything. Sorry I rushed off this morning. I had to go and teach. 
of mice and men. <laughs> What's a scrub? Oh, your eyes, they're so light and clever. I bet you your thoughts on Steinbeck, unlike year 10. Tom took the car to the garage and he phoned the electricity people. No, no, that's a big day for Tom. Mostly he's sort of frozen. It's very scary. I know what he's doing. He's going over and over it all. But it's no use. You have to go on. I'm going on, aren't I? Try to. <laughs> this is just mud. Underneath, you're as pink as a peony. You've got a lovely little ginger fringe of hair along your ears. <laughs> as I scratching your itches. More. Watch out for the... Yes. And she's going to need some straw. She? Why? She's not staying. Hillary. Just for a bit. <sighs> she's someone's pig. Then someone will come for her. Just till then. You won't have to do a thing. <sighs> come in, Martin. Can I get you a beer? No, I'm driving to. Tea? Yeah, ta. Lady Grey? Hey, got your spa. Ah, uh, Tom? Keep it back somewhere. You still got the mould there? What? Under the stairs here. How did you do that? He's doing. Yes, but how? Look, he's got a proper hold now. I see it's way up. Sorry, how do you know about the mould? I brought Mum round when this place went on the market. Oh, I see. Mm. Is she interested in buying? No. I can do that if you want. The tea? <laughs> the mould. Tom's on to it. It's one of his jobs. Practical sort, is he? Uh, he changed his mind. I'm your man. Thanks. Martin, are you sure about these lifts? Yeah, long way down this lane. I should know. I walked it enough as a kid. Just till our car gets fixed, you're an absolute lifesaver. What's wrong with your motor, then? Headlights. And it got a bit of a scrape. I'm a terrible parker, I'm afraid. I never met a lady driver who wasn't. Mum's a shocker. Is she still in Fuengirola? End of the season. She always go off for a few weeks. Dad's out there. Oh. Well, I thought he was... Yeah, no, he is. We scattered him in the garden, so he's facing the sea. I love the sea. Mmm, me too. I do a lot of diving. Reefs and wrecks. How yeah. exciting. Yeah. And scary. The silence down there. In the dark. Oh, is that why you do it? Plumbing ain't gonna raise your heart rate, right, is it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it gets me over from under Debbie's feet. What made you buy this place, then? Oh, you know. No. Everything, really. The cottage, the woods, the peace. After London. <laughs> it's a bit small, isn't it? And damp. We love the village. Yeah? The sense of community. Oh, our bloody nosy park, as you mean. Obviously. I mean, the cottage needs a lot of doing. Get that mould for a start. I'll just... Uh, Tom? <laughs> Tom! What? Martin's here. Come and say hi. He's coming, I think. He gets so engrossed. In what? Ask him. I'm sorry you had a rough day. That was my school. It wasn't. What? You make me feel old, that's all. You, you're not old. Oh, I am. Well, you didn't look it. That's all that counts. We used to be shocking with our new teachers. Terrors we were. Oh, Christ. They'll mind you in a bit. Yeah. You just have to sit on them hard at first. <laughs> you could have sat on me any day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I loved English. <laughs> Did you? Why? Oh, you could dream about things while they were all reading. What did you dream about? Reefs and wrecks? Mm, probably. I'd have loved having you as my teacher. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> well, I'll best get on. 
Check Mum's place is all right and tight, and then get on home for my tea. Oh, uh, Hilary, can you throw any daylight? That storm last weekend, we lost a pig off of Mum's. You haven't seen anything, have you? Pig-like? No, well, but if you do, give us a ring. I, I tell you what, you stick your number in my phone. Martin, is this an elaborate ruse? Hi. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. oh, Martin, <laughs> hi. We met before. Village shop, remember? Oh. Debbie sold you some crisps. Did she? Smoky bacon. I do like smoky bacon. Cheese and onion, man, me. Oh, I saw this one at the bus stop. You took pity on me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to give me lifts while the car's out of action, isn't that kind? Really kind. I know skin off my nose. Got a job on up at the school just now. Their main boiler's gone, so... <laughs> Getting a big wrench out. Mine's a wobber. <laughs> <laughs> you two sound like year nine. <laughs> there you go, here's your phone. Lovely. And if you see... Me. Yes, I'll ring you. Oh, right, great. Right, well, I'll see myself out. Oh. And uh, it's half of the tea. <laughs> was it Lady Di, was it? Grey. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I see. <laughs> very friendly, very neighbourly. It's a bit of a dish, isn't he? Did you fancy him? Why are you ringing him? To arrange my lift. You couldn't just do it while he was here. Oh, for God's sake. What? I'm just asking. You were a dog in the manger. You don't want to leave, do you? <coughs> it's snug in here. I bet Martin's mother doesn't talk to you. <coughs> and you're always listening. <laughs> With your gorgeous ginger-fringed ears. You want to stay, don't you? <coughs> mm, of course you do. <coughs> that you? Yeah. How was your day? Utter rubbish. Yours? Ditto. <laughs> what are you watching? I'm not. Done anything? Not really, no. What was it today? Irony in Northanger Abbey. They had a vote. It was unanimous. Downton's better. It's freezing in here. Want one of these? Warm me up. Brandy. Why not? Bloody expensive as why not. Have one, you never know. It might thaw you out. What? I'm not buying any more. When it's finished, it's finished. Shall I pour yours back in the bottle? Are you drunk? Not even merry. Cheers. I'm just saying, don't expect me to replace it. <sighs> no, miss. I don't miss. No expectations, miss. Ha, ha. I'll have to start saving up my pocket money. That isn't fair. What else would you call it? It can't be trusted with cards or bank accounts. You can't. Like I said, pocket money, like a little boy. I don't like it either. Actually, I think you quite enjoy it, having the whip hand. You're wrong. At least you get to make all the decisions Don't, about... Tom. Don't sit there telling me things are unfair. Just don't. When it was you who poured our money away... Yes. Yes. Poured it away like it was sand. You never stopped. You never had the balls to tell me our savings, the house. You did that, not me, you. That was unfair. It was, yes, yes. I'm the one who... God, and I'm here, aren't I? Standing by you like some stupid, corseted Victorian mouse. I didn't leave, though everyone said I should have done. You should have done. What did you say? Well, how can I ever be grateful enough, sorry enough? This will never end. It'll just go on and on and on and on. It's unbearable. Yes, it is. If it weren't for you... Oh, pig. I have never been so lonely in my life. Those are cookers. She doesn't care. She likes them. You're getting all wet. Here. Leave me alone. I didn't mean that. I don't want to upset you. It's the last thing I want. But you do. I know. I can't do this all on my own. I know. Give me a bit longer. Please. I am. I will try. I can't seem to... You want to... to do something useful? Yes. Can you make her a proper harness instead of this rope? Probably. And then we can explore the woods, get out of your way. Get me out of your sight, you mean. 
Lots of acorns in the woods. Mm. Look, the thing about the money... Please. Uh, but we never... Re There's nothing left to say. What if I think there is? I don't even care about the money. Well, I do, of course I do, but not in the end. It's, it's the lies. How you kept it all secret, kept me out. Why did you have to? That's what finishes me. Stop wriggling and let me get this thing on. Do you want to go to the woods? Thank you. And don't think I made it for your sake. It's to appease your mistress. Yes, I know you think she's perfect, the goddess of pig husbandry. Well, let me tell you, goddesses can be cruel. They have adventures. <coughs> she did at the NUT conference. Mm. So the faults aren't all on my side, just heavily so. Like a cold remembering. You'd have liked it, my little restaurant. It had sea green tiles. I couldn't let it go. It went to the wall in the end anyway. And I wish I had. <coughs> because I can't bear the reproach in her eyes. How will we ever mend things? How do you do that, pig? Oh, acorns, now you're in heaven. <laughs> We should have come up here before. It's so calm tonight. Him and her. And the moon's so sharp and bright for roving. I'm sorry. I know it's stupid. It's just when I stop, it all comes rolling in like the tide. And I, I think we're done for. Tom and me. Don't think. <laughs> That's the answer. You don't think. You just are. Bare and simple. That's what I want to be. <coughs> what now? But it's freezing. <coughs> You're right. All right. Oh. oh, it's shivery cold, but it's better. It is now I feel like part of the wood. Oh. Oh. Hello! <laughs> Come on, then. Oh. Hello! You awake, Hill? Hillary? You downstairs? No wellies, no coat, half past midnight. Hillary? No pig, no wife. What's happening? I'm forever thanking you, Martin. It isn't fair. No, I like it. That brightens up my day. You're always as bright as a button anyway. Yeah? Always smiling, having a laugh, looking out for other people. No, that's just you. I'm a miserable kid, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. What? That's you. I think you're gorgeous. Marty! No, it's all right. I'm not going to do anything about it. For a start off, Debbie would have my guts for guards. That and some other bits, I should think. You too, right. I mean it. Though. I am way over the hill. No. You're on top of it. Waving. <laughs> Thank you. Only... What? Well, it's just when you're thinking about things, you look sad sometimes. Do I? Come diving with me. What? You heard. I can't 
die. You could learn, I could teach you. Even if I could afford it, which I can't, or had the time, which I don't, or if the weather was tempting, which it isn't, because it's October. Yeah, then would you? I don't know. I'd be scared. I'd be... Yes. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning then. And don't forget your flippers. <laughs> Good day. Tom, how long have you been standing there? Uh, yeah, it, it was better, actually. I slipped out at lunchtime. I did some shopping. New lipstick? Like it? Does it have a daft name? Allure. See? Just looks like plums to me. Right. I love plums, you know that. Great colour on you. Thanks, yeah. Martin liked it too. You awake, Hill? Oh, no, not again. Are you here, Hillary? For heaven's sake, woman, if you've taken that animal out again. Full moon. I might have known. Come on, come on, Thomas. You're not a stone. Do something. Thank you for picking me up. Top up? Mm, please. I thought two birds with one stone get the car and Hillary. <laughs> Happy half term. Thank God. And we broke up early. I feel like getting hammered. So I see. Cheers. Cheers. Hilary, I think the pig's going to have to go. What? If I'm renovating the cottage... I want to keep her. We haven't got room. We can't afford her. She isn't our pig, so we let her go. <sighs> Let's play for her. What? Whoever wins decides. <laughs> this isn't like you. Well, life's short, isn't it? You reckless woman. You're on. <laughs> what should we play? Kim's game. All right. I'm much better at it than you. I'll go first. <laughs> All right, my turn. Do your worst. Uncover your tracer. 30 seconds to look, yes? Mm. Ready, steady, go! There's a paintbrush, a peppercorn, a safety pin, your driving licence, my NUT badge. Paintbrush, peppercorn, safety pin. 10 seconds gone. You... Come on. You chose the badge on purpose. Keep going. Paintbrush, peppercorn. It isn't fair. You chose it to distract me. Get a move on. Deliberately, unscrupulously. You are completely untrustworthy. How could I still not know that? Ten seconds left. <sighs> Mean-minded, worm-hearted, slippery, dog-faced cheat. The uses of an English degree. Replay. Got everything? I haven't even... Pity, and you're so good at this game. Time. I demand a replay. Any item on the tray may, of course, have associations for you, but that isn't against the rules, is it? We going on? No. Then I win by default. The pig leaves. <sighs> you had to bring the NUT thing up, didn't you? I had to win. No, you had to take your chance to make me feel cheap. One person. According to you. One person and 32 years. Richard Bishop, conference keynote speaker. You know why it happened. Carried away in a tide of passion, weren't you? It was to stir you up. Buried fathoms deep in your stupid bloody restaurant. Now you've got your plumber lined up, tongue hanging out. No, it doesn't work, Tom. You're not jealous, not really, because for that you'd have to care about me, you'd have to love. I saw you in the woods. What? Last night. Oh. Running and... And? There isn't any and. What's the matter with you, dancing about with no clothes? I was happy. You were ridiculous. You were grotesque. Martin. Oh, yeah. I just want to... Are you all right? Yes. Oh, you're white. No, I'm a bit tired out, that's all. Mm. Well, I was worried when I didn't see you leaving school. Oh, I'm sorry, Martin. I picked her up. Well, there we are, then. 
<clears throat> Look, that's uh, so probably nothing, but I was up in the woods last night. You were? Yeah, and there was someone howling up there. A tramp or someone off the head on something, God knows. So just be on your guard, all right? What were you doing up there? Well, if that's any of your business, we're still hoping to find that pig of mum's. Now you take care now, Hilary. You knew it was hers all along, didn't you? No. Completely untrustworthy. How can I still not know that? I'm phoning Mrs Thing. No! What are you doing? Move away from the phone. That's my chef's knife. It's really sharp, Hilary. Don't... There! Where are you going? Since the phone is no longer usable, I'll drive down and tell her. You can't. You're drunk. You are. I won't let you. It's not your pig. I'll set her loose first. It's like finding you're married to a serial killer. Unbelievable. My God, did I hit you? Look at you. What? Yeah. Are you hurt? She was just being. Thank God. Oh, thank. Thank you, God. You've killed the pig. Uh, no, she twitched. Look, there. Uh, she's all right. She's just concussed. <gasps> pig, I frightened you. I know I did. I drove you out as if you were the gentlest, kindest. Please be concussed. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Hillary. I'm so, so sorry. You had such lovely ginger ears. She did. What do you care? Please stop crying. Uh, what are we going to do? Do? With the body. Don't. What if Mrs Thing drives along? I don't care. We stole her pig and now we've killed it. We can't leave it here on the road. Uh, what if Martin comes back? I don't know. Uh, let me try and... God, he's so heavy. She! Can you lift her front legs? Uh, right. Um, oh. I can't hold I can't hold her. You trusted me, and I used you like a thing. If Martin comes back, God knows what will happen. He'll get the police. He'll take us to court. You'll lose your job. Um, wheelbarrow, uh, plank. Uh, we need leverage. We must get her out of sight. Everything I touch, I ruin it. It's like we're cursed. No. All we'll ever have from now on is bad luck. No. How do you know? Because, because... We'll change all that. We will. <laughs> Did we bury her then? That'll be quickest. Under the beech tree. She loved the beech tree. Yes. I'll get the spade. Only, now we're out of sight, you don't think that'd be... What? A waste? Of what? I'm really sorry she's dead, but surely the most respectful thing we can do now is... Is What? Use her up. You mean, but I loved her. This would be loving her. No. You love bacon and ham, don't you? Yes. Sausages? Oh, I'm so corrupt. Come on, let's get you in the warm. Uh, don't come out for the first bit. Why don't you make us some tea? Hill, can you open the door? You're up to your elbows in it. My socks are all sticky. How? I got all the blood neatly into the bottle. Neatly? Then I stepped back into it, panicked, and kicked it all over. Could you get my socks and shoes off, please? Oh. This is how the Macbeth started out. Oh, look what happened to them. It's a learning curve. As he said, just before she went mad and they chopped off his head, I'm going to be sick. Swallow hard. Now look, bloody footprints all across my kitchen floor. Don't take this the wrong way, Tom, but do you know what you're doing? Remember the promotion we did at the restaurant, Go the Whole Hog? Well, we did all the butchering then, so I'm fairly confident with that. We went to the slaughterhouse too, you never forget. But it's not the same as doing it. No. I'll dig the blood into the ground. Look, once we've got her head off, it'll be much better. Much? All right. Just swallowing hard.
It's stuck. Damn! Hatchet. <sighs> yeah, you change the blade. Mind your eyes, little tips of bone. We need more water, lots of it. Everywhere, so much blood. Yes! It's off! Uh, get it really clean, then chill it. Oh, a head in the fridge. <laughs> All this hair. It takes forever. The light will go in an hour. I'm going as fast as I can. Uh, let's turn it. One, two... <gasps> we need more hot water. Me? I'm quicker at scraping. You're not. Twice as fast. You're... More hot water, please. Oh, so it's either Mr. Inertia or Il Duce. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> what are you doing? Getting some of this hair off. You're, you're scorching the skin. You could scrub it afterwards. Don't save all the best jobs for me. <sighs> it's like doing a doorstep. <laughs> We're in. It's hot in there. Now, gently. Really hot. Really whiffy. Mm. What a burst in hay. I never knew my guts were grey. <sighs> Like a surprised alien. Look. Get a grip. I can't. They keep slithering off and they're hot, slippery. Ready? <laughs> Shh. Can you hear a car? Think it's Martin? Please, God, no. If he comes round here, I mean, look, look at us. Covered in yuck and surrounded by big bars. I'll head him off. He's gone. Let's get on. It's starting to get dark. He! God, she's one oh. big pig. He! Oh. Hurry! I can't remember my knots. Just hurry. I'm giving myself a hernia. Oh. So when you need that. We are. We are almost. Hold it still. We are nearly oh. oh. Well done, Tom. You were brilliant. Well done, you. Well done, pig. Hang there till I can cool down. Look. What? Here come the stars. You seen the cobweb by the back door? It's covered in frost. The air is full of gossamers this morning. When you were up in the woods, Hill? Hmm? What did you want? Running like that. I don't know. To shake it all off. What? Heartbreak. You weren't ridiculous. Grotesque? No, no. What then? Free. I thought I'd lost you. It says make sure you rub salt into every fold and crevice. You know what? What? She's going to see us through the winter. Just when we need it. Providential pig. She is. Was. Is. It's like she died and got resurrected. Miraculous pig. By us. I wouldn't mind that sort of life after death. As a sausage? Perfect. Every little fold. Every, Every little fold. You've been waiting there long. I had to pop into town. You ran out of salt, did you? Sorry? No. I don't think you are. You think I'm a rare yokel, don't you? Thick as shit. No. I want our pig. Yes. Pop? 
In here. Martin's here. For the pig. Oh. Can I get you a beer or... No, I don't want to talk to you. I want this over with. Bring the hams and bacon. Martin, listen, it was all my fault. Don't. Honestly, Hillary never meant Please. to... Please. I need a bag. Bin liner will do. I'd never have known if Debbie didn't see him coming out of the Chinese shop with cure and salt. There's the lard. I checked last night. Found the earth turned over. A bit of blood. A broken saw blade. I should call the police. My rights. You made a fool of me. Here you go. I think you'll need some more bin bags. Chops, uh, loin steaks, joints, four joints. Tom butchered it very neat and clean. Bit of belly, back fat for wrapping your roast. Cheeks, hocks, take them for Debbie. I've frozen the stock. There's soup from the heart and liver. You'll like it. And the stock from the trotters is beautiful, silky. Velvet is a mole. Sausages. I'll just... I didn't think you were a yokel. Ever. We did some with apple, some with herbs and some with chilli. Spicy. Nice. I can't. <laughs> you done a proper job there. Thanks. The butcher, are you? I ran a restaurant once. Oh. Then I lost it. It's a fool's game, really. I was a fool, anyway. Uh, want a hand with the bags? No. <clears throat> You, that's not the bloody pig, I mind. Nope. That's being lied to. That's what gets me. Yeah. Oh. We're all fools to ourselves in the end. I know. The reproach in his eyes. Oh, I know. I almost felt sorry for him. I will never lie again. Ever? You can't either. We could have another 30 years together. Could we? There's nothing between me and Martin. You know that. And you flirt with him. Not anymore. You did. It was fun. It was great. How much fun have you been? Minimal. Zero. He made me feel good. Were you tempted? No. Liar. Well, we may have another 30 years together. We may. Poor Martin. He's so much nicer than us. I'm ashamed. Aren't you? All that love, all that work. Hours and hours. And now we'll never enjoy her. I know. It's not fair. Well, it is. More than fair. Almost like the, the hand, hand of, of God. God. But she was our pig in the end. Exactly. I'm glad you think so. Why? Because I kept these two back. <gasps> Sausages. Only two. You're bad. You're really bad, Thomas. There's no hope for you. None? Are they hot and spicy ones? What do you think? <laughs> oh. <laughs> In A Night Visitor by Stephanie Jacob. Hilary was played by Stella Gonne. Tom by David Kahn. And Martin by Carl Prekop. The director was David Hunter. <laughs>